Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So at the bottom of the deck you've got the Seven of Rods. Um, you've got the Queen Queen of Rods over here. You've got the Hierophant and you've got the Two of Swords. So with the Two of Swords trying to make a decision but feeling a little bit emotionally overwhelmed, there might be some legal issues that you're trying to sort out. You might have had conflict with somebody and you're a bit of a stalemate situation as well with that Two of Swords. Uh, maybe they have been keeping things from you. There's some deception that is going on as well because her eyes are covered there. There's a new cycle beginning for you there. So you need to turn your back on this particular person because they're not really supportive of you or, you know, maybe they, there is no way that you can reconcile with this person um, and, you know, you need to just block them out really. You've got the Hierophant. There might be a need for you to go and get some professional advice. Also, there is a need for you to do some research as well into whatever it is you want. You're getting to the point where you uh, may need to, you may decide to do some further learning and become an expert in your field as well, you know. And uh, if you are um, already in that position, you might, ha you know, be in a position where uh, you're taking on some kind of teaching role as well with the Hierophant, giving out knowledge and a lot of people coming for to you for that advice as well. Uh, you've got that um, Queen of Rods over there. So this is your card. Um, and this is about being in authority and handling a project. So whatever it is you're going to be doing, you're going to definitely be in charge and you'll be in charge of a lot of people. There'll be a lot of things that you need to sort out. Be organized when you're sorting things out there. The success that comes in, you can see there's this nice little flower, uh, sunflower over there. So there's definitely some success and there's a rose there in the background. So uh, definitely success coming in for you, but you need to be very, very organized, sort things out one at a time. There might be some difficult people that you're dealing with, but you'll be able to sort it out because you can see this person's rod is above it, uh, the rest of the rod. So whatever you know, there might be issues that you need to sort out and think on your feet pretty quickly. Uh, but you're in person, you're the person in charge. You're a person in authority there. You can see that authority. You're holding the rod. So don't let people take advantage of you. Make sure that they know that you are the one uh, with the expertise and you are the one in charge as well. Um, so what's coming in for you? You've got the Seven of Pentacles and you've got that Knight of Rods as well. So Seven of Pentacles, uh, you know, you've been... Uh, maybe looking for a new job. Uh, whatever you've been working on is going to start paying off. Uh, whatever you've been investing your time and effort in. If you're looking for a new job over here, definitely something coming in for you in a position of authority and news coming in about that. Uh, and there's also news about travel. So you'll be doing a lot of travel, um, you know, uh, you, this man looks like he's contemplating things or thinking about it. So you might be thinking about changing jobs, you know, doing a whole shift um, so something coming in on offer that offers more money for you and you needing to make some kind of decision to move on. There's certainly been a lot of drama wherever you've been working as well. So you might be thinking really hard and considering these new job options very, very carefully. There's certainly a lot more money coming in, in with a new offer that comes in over there. And like I said, uh, it is going to be a new project that you are going to be doing as well. They might well be, you know, they might be using your expertise and you might be in some kind of teaching role as well. Maybe that's what the decision is, the dilemma that you are in as well with that two of swords about whether or not to take this new job because this person's certainly thinking about it. But news is coming in and it's very positive news as well. So you've got the three of pentacles in the past, working very, very hard, collaborating with a lot of people and using your expertise to build to build cathedrals. Now, there's been a lot of ambitious people that you're dealing with, a lot of problems, uh, difficult people, really, a lot of competition. Maybe everybody's trying to get their, their say in it and nobody wants to listen to you. So it is time for you to take control of that situation. Maybe because of all the problems that are going on on the work front, this is why you actually want to, you know, you're looking out for something different or, or you want to move on from this job and it looks like there's something that is coming in so there's a, uh, a choice that is coming in for you that's on your mind right now and maybe you actually are thinking of moving overseas you're certainly weighing your options up over there um, you know things have been really um, uh, there's been a lot of discontent things have been uh, you know um, all over the place really um, you've got a lot of uh, big waves there so a lot of drama coming are going on around you. You're standing firm in your decision, but you are weighing your options. So you're looking for something brand new and deciding whether or not you want to move overseas or you want to go somewhere else, uh, you know, start a, you take on a job somewhere else. 
So you are looking, weighing your options up very, very carefully over there. You're giving it quite a lot of consideration. Whatever's going on over there, you need to sweet talk your way out of it. So, uh, you know, tread lightly, uh, and um, but be firm. So, uh, you know, uh, and that's how you're going to be able to sort things through. If you've got any health issues going on, these will get sorted out. Health is improving as well with that strength card. And whatever difficulties you have with the strength card, you tend generally overcome them. Now, you've got uh, the Fool card over here, which is really excellent. So making a brand new start. So it looks like you're going to be taking on a new job. You're suddenly weighing your options pretty carefully over there and thinking about accepting this new offer that comes in for you. And you're going to get news about it. And it looks like you're going to accept it and, and make a brand new start, pack your things and move on as well, um, you know, with that Fool. So fresh starts coming in for you there. And there again, you've got that Knight of Rods as well. So moving overseas, uh, this is taking the job, uh, uh, taking a job in another country and definitely a lot of travel coming in for you. So a big decision uh, and it looks like you're revving to go and revving to leave uh, this old situation. And there you have that new coin coming in over there. So this is a brand new start for you there. Um, you know, this isn't your hopes and fears, but it looks like that is coming to fruition over there. So you are definitely making a fresh start over there with that full card. Now, in the final outcome, you've got the Six of Rods, um, the Knight of uh, Swords, and you've got um, the King of, sorry, the Four of Pentacles here. So... Uh, there's brand new, uh, a brand new start, but a lot of victory and a lot of recognition coming. So whatever problems you've been facing, all this uh, upheaval that it's been going on with everybody else, you're going to get everything sorted out, and you're going to come out, uh, you know, smelling of roses. You're going to be the victorious one over there. So this is success after going through a lot of difficulties. Um, you've got that Knight of Swords over there. So this is about legal issues being sorted out, but this is also about signing new contracts and moving on. And you have to make decisions pretty quickly. That Knight of Swords also says make sure you're reading all that print, the legal print or, or whatever legalities very carefully, speak your truth and it's time for you to move forward now. So, you know, uh, dis disregard everything everybody's got to say and start moving. He's got wings on the back over there. So this looks like overseas flight. Uh, you know, this says that whatever this job is, it's going to be something overseas. And with all the rods that are going through here, uh, it, it's showing that, you know, there's certainly a job overseas. It's going to help you establish yourself as well. So this is about working and focusing on that career, but also, uh, you know, being able to set up home. So it looks like you're going to buy a new home in, an, in, in a foreign country and you're going to be able to accumulate a lot of money as well. So this new job is definitely going to pay you pretty well uh, and it's going to help you, uh, you know, um, establish yourself and uh, lay down firm foundations. This card also says just watch out as far as finances go. Uh, don't overspend, don't overindulge. Just play it cautiously uh, initially until, you know, you are very, very well established um, before you start, you know, overspending. So there's a big decision coming in over here. There's definitely good help coming in with the lover's card, but definitely big choices and make sure you do your research carefully. There's travel coming in as well and abundance. Things look very good. Have the patience at this time and make long-term plans. So there's definitely overseas travel. There's a job overseas and it's going to be working with a group of people uh, and you are going to be heading this project. This is the Ace of Air as well. This is a breakthrough card and this is whatever difficulties you went through and whatever problems uh, this is is the, the card of victory, really. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of the situation. Uh, there might be a challenging beginning, but, um, you know, with that Ace of Swords, it gives you all that power. It gives you wings as well to fly. So I think whatever this is, this new contract that you're going to be signing is going to be something on the overseas front. There's definitely a job that requires, it either requires you uh, moving overseas or you're going to be doing a lot of travel. But you're going to have enough money to establish yourself and even build a new home, buy a new home. Uh, so you definitely are considering this new job option quite carefully and it is going to be something uh, that is going to allow you to make a brand new start. And like I said, it's something uh, to do with international travel or it's something to do with moving overseas as well. Um, and it's definitely going to be very, very successful. You're going to have to act pretty quickly uh, on it as well. So uh, just know that you're going to have to think on your feet. Be very clear-minded, um, especially with that... Um, Ace of Swords there, uh, or Ace of Air, uh, and speak very clearly, act with confidence as well. So I wish you all the best, and um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.